Hey, beautiful spirits! How are you? It's Wednesday. We are talking about self care, and today's just a little chitty chat. I'm just gonna chit chat about a little thing that I did, and I don't know. Maybe it'll help you. You know. So I'm LD Juarez. I'm your Sparkle Coach, and I am here to help you get your sparkle back, honey. Anything from getting rid of the bullies of depression, anxiety, and all the bullies you can think of, freaking bastards. Yucky. Don't like them. They can get the hell out. So we do that. We talk about self-care that helps you get back to you, get back to the real you, who you truly are, so you can be sparkly and happy. And we talk about dating after 40 and all kinds of stuff. So today we're talking about self-care and I'm just going to chit chat with you. Just sit here and chitty chat. I kind of love the animal print. (laughs) Can you tell? Anywho, so self-care. So I have been really, if you watched my uh, video on Monday, you know I was talking about getting out of a funk. And one of the things I did not mention in there is something that I had to do because I was just in this funk. I'm like, what is going on? Everything is just, you know, when you feel like things just are not working, no matter what you're trying to do, you're doing the best you can, you're positive thinking, you're doing, you know, you're doing what you think are the right things, you're working towards what you want to do, and just things are not working right. Relationships aren't working right. Things aren't working right. You're not feeling well. All this, it just, it really brings you down. And sometimes you kind of want a crystal ball, right? So that's what I did. I was talking to a really wonderful friend, and they referred me to a psychic reader. And I know, I know, a lot of the time they're full of crap. I know that. I have had had some readings where I'm like, you could have Googled that. You know what I mean? So I know what you mean if you have a skeptical mind about it, because I did too. And so anyway, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. She really, my friend really highly recommended this person and told me some things that were amazing, actually. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. You know, I have nothing to lose. You know, you know, if you, if you can't lose your funk, you can pick it up back at the door when you leave, like whatever, it don't matter. So I decided I was going to do that. And I'm so freaking glad I did you guys. Oh my gosh. This woman is gifted. I'm telling you that there are some things that she told me that there's no way you could Google it. There's no way she could have known it. I didn't tell her any information, nothing. I was pleasantly surprised. So some of the things she told me, I was like, well, that sucks, you know, but not real bad. Just things that, you know, if you trust your intuition, you know, these things anyway, I'll tell you that about, um, people, places, things, whatever. Um, if you have a bad feeling, Trust it from the get-go, honey. Do not let it go further because it just hurts you worse. So anyway, I got a lot of confirmations that way, which was so... Some of it was sad, but some of it was... It was all healing. But then the rest of it was wow. So I so needed to hear everything she had to say. I wanted more. We went over the time even. She is just so generous and wonderful. And... I got a lot of reassurances. I got a lot of hope, which is what we need right now. Things are so crappy. There's, I mean, things are great too. There's a lot of really good positive energy things happening, but there's a lot of stuff happening that is really uncomfortable. And if you're stuck in that funk, like I talked about on Monday, it's hard to have hope. So, you know, anyway, so I got some of that hope and I'm like, All right. It gives you the boost you need. It gave me the boost I needed to continue on because some of the things I've been working hard at, I thought, well, maybe it's, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe I'm not this or that or whatever. Maybe, you know, I'm not meant for this. I'm not meant for that. Maybe I need to pick something else. And she gave me some confirmation and it was just wonderful. So I don't know. I suggest you try it if you're into that kind of thing and make sure it's somebody who has a really good reputation of being pretty spot on, not someone who just willy nilly says whatever, because there's a lot of those. So be careful. But I don't know if you're into this kind of thing. It's good. Oh, and she she gave me this and I forget what she called it now. I'm so bad with the names of crystals and stuff. You guys, I really want to learn, but 
So she put a whole bunch of crystals out and she wanted me to pick one. And you know, crystals choose you. If you're, if you're into that kind of thing, you know, they tell, they call you, you feel it. You know, if it resonates with you or not, she put them all out on the table. And so I touched every single one. And this one was calling to me even before I touched it. And I touched every single one. And some of them were like, eh, like amethyst calls to me really good. I love amethyst. I have a ton of it. That's the only one I know the name of pretty much. (laughs) But this one, as soon as I picked it up, and I don't know if you're not into this kind of thing, you might think I'm strange, but I immediately felt a shield and felt good. It felt good. It felt like protective. It felt awesome. So anyway, I highly suggest that for you if you're interested in those kind of things. And um, I, f- I found out some really cool things and, and confirmation of some, good, some things. Like my, my grampy pff, was the best, best man in the universe. And she picked up on that right away. She said, they don't make them like him anymore. I believe it. And my great grandma, his mom, just amazing. And um, I found out some things. My dad was right there. She's a medium too. And um, it was, it was good. It was good. So whatever it takes to give yourself some self-care, whatever it takes to help you feel better, as long as it's not destructive to you or anyone else, I'm not saying go get drunk or go get high. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not saying go be destructive or hurt yourself. What I'm saying is anything that will provide you with self-care, will provide you with hope, that will rejuvenate your soul, your heart, your mind, your body. Take care of yourself. Take care of your precious, beautiful spirit and body. And then you will be better able to care for others around you. And then once all this madness in the world ends, because it's going to stop, you guys, it is. Darkness doesn't last forever. The light is coming. So prepare yourself for it. Take Freaking good care of yourself. Self-care the hell out of everything, okay? Take care of you and take care of your loved ones and make sure you prepare. So when the good times come back, when the light comes back into the world, you're freaking ready, honey. You are ready. You're charging out the gate because you prepared. All right. I love you. Please look for the sparkles today. Share the sparkle with everybody you know and hit like. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Share, subscribe, whatever works. I appreciate you so much. Everything you do like that really helps my channel grow. And I'm so grateful. Thank you. I'll see you later.